Hey everyone, and welcome back to a new video. Earlier this month, Apple released the Apple Vision Pro, and select press and media got to try it, but I wish I could too. And I can, to some extent, because as of the time of recording this video, yesterday Apple released the Vision OS SDK, which is the software developer kit, and basically that allows developers to get behind Xcode and make applications for it without needing the Vision Pro headset. I downloaded it and I tried it out and I think it's pretty amazing. So this video is going to be like an overview of Vision OS and all the things that I think make it cool and maybe just, you know, walking through what it's like to use the Vision OS. So yeah, without any further ado, my name's Parikshit. Welcome to the channel. Let's get started. I'm going to divide this into three topics, Vision OS user interface, using apps in Vision OS, and multitasking in Vision OS. Let's start with the UI. I think the UI of Vision OS is in a league of its own. To get to the home screen, you hit the home button and you're greeted with these Apple Watch-like icons just floating right in front of you. These icons aren't just flat icons, these have depth to them. If you look closely, when your eyes hover over each app icon, you can see this 3D kind of depth effect going on with them. It's really cool. All these layers and translucency add a different kind of depth to this operating system. Now just like on iPhone, iPad, and Mac, you've got a control center. It's that blue dot that will stick around no matter where you're looking. And you can go to the home screen, change your environment, open up control center, or check your notifications. These are the environment controls for when you want to control the time of day of the virtual environment that you're in. This is your control center. You've got options like do not disturb, your regular Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and airplane mode, and also an option to toggle guest user mode. So a friend can demo the Vision Pro without seeing your personal data. You've also got options for changing your text size and also activating AirDrop. Now, next to that, you'll find the Spotlight Search icon, which works just like it does on macOS, iPadOS, and iOS. Type in whatever you want to look for, and if it isn't there, you can just browse for it on the web. For example, here, let me open up my channel, and we can start talking about using apps in Vision OS. Now, this is Safari on Vision OS. Now, you've probably noticed that this is loading the mobile pages and they look kind of ugly on this big screen. But just like on iPadOS, you can change this to load the desktop version of the site. Now, let's head over to apple.com and I will show you how you can resize these windows and move them around your space however you want to. Beneath every open window in Vision OS, you'll find three tab bars. The cross icon closes the app, the bar lets you move the app icon around your space and place it wherever you want, and on the bottom right hand side, you'll find this little curve which allows you to expand the window or shrink it down to whatever size you want it to be. Let's close Safari and try another app. Let's open Freeform. Freeform is just like it is on iPadOS, macOS, iOS, you get the whole deal. So yeah, you can use this as like an open drawing space to just sketch whatever you want. So you could come back, I don't know, like an hour later and have created a masterpiece like this, which you can move off to the side and again, press X to close your windows and hit the home button and there's your home screen again. Now on the left side of the home screen, you'll notice there's this bar that says apps, people, so you can contact people on FaceTime and environments. Now this isn't working on the Vision OS 1 beta SDK at the moment, but basically you can select this and it will immerse you into the environment that you've selected. Oh yeah, and don't fret, Siri is still here for you. Lastly, I want to talk about multitasking in Vision OS. I think that this has been wonderfully built. Now you can have up to four, I believe, floating windows right in front of you at the same time. So two off to your side, one in front of you, and one above you. And you can manipulate these windows the same way you would just a single window. Move them around wherever you want, resize them however you want, and you can also just close them away. Now let's have a look at the keyboard in Vision OS. So you can connect an external hardware keyboard, or you could have this really cool floating on-screen keyboard. And you see how it's highlighting those letters on the keyboard? Well, if you had the actual headset, wherever you're looking, it would highlight those keys and you would just tap away and type away. You can move the keyboard around as you would with any other window. And another cool thing that I noticed was you could move around and you can see that even the keyboard has this really cool level of depth and detail to it. And of course, it has an emoji section for you to type out emojis as well. And that's about all that you can see with the current SDK. This looks so cool in just the simulator, like I can't imagine how cool it must be to see this in real life. And I can't wait for that day. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
hit that like button if you found this helpful and pretty cool, and hit that subscribe button, because I'm going to be uploading more. I promise. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.